That's not a bad idea, Miss Rubin. Yes, it is. It's a terrible idea. You know better than to listen to me. You can pat yourself on the back for having had a kind and charitable thought. I'm going to take Myron home. Judge Franklin, I warn you, if you bring that man into your home, it could prove to be the worst mistake of your life. Oh, I don't think so, Miss Rubner. You'll always be number one in my book. <laughs> I'm Judge Franklin. I'm here to pick up Myron C. Dobbs. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Judge? Don't worry about those two guys. They won't hurt you. They're prisoners. <laughs> Did I hear you say you were a judge? That's right. Did you hear that, Ray? He's a judge. Ray's my brother-in-law. Hi, Ray. He don't talk much. He's what you call a man of action. Mm. One of his actions got us in here. <laughs> what was that? Not driving fast enough. <laughs> oh, my name's Monroe. John Monroe. Come on. Nice to meet you, John. Guess in your line of work, you send guys like me and Ray up the river right and left, huh? I wouldn't say right and left, just every so often. <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm here. John? Ray? I'm here to take an inmate home for Christmas. And that's the kind of judge I am, you know what I mean? So you're gonna take Myron C. Dobbs home for Christmas, huh? Yes, sir, Bob. Judge, I don't believe me and Ray got any social commitments for the holidays. Well, I'd love to take you home, but I'm afraid it would be rather short notice for my housekeeper. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next year. <laughs> what are you chaps in for? Now, we chaps are alleged pickpockets. Tricky business. Well, it's not that tricky. Ray knocks the guy out and I go through his pockets. <laughs> Sounds as though it should work. It usually does. Except when certain people don't drive fast enough. Oh, hiya, Judge. Aaron. Well, uh, look who's all spiffed up. Ah, uh, lay off, will you? Hey, Ray, you know he's going to spend a vacation with the judge. It wasn't my idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just bitter because everybody is putting their traveler's checks in wallets now instead of cash. His business was ruined by Carl Morgan. Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! Don't mention his name in front of Ray. You better get out of here, Judge. Well, have a nice holiday. Don't worry about us. Well, you may think it's going to be easy for Myron, but it's not. I'm taking him into my custody, sure. I've suspended his sentence. But he's going to have to get a job. He's going to have to be responsible. And if he commits a crime now, it's going to go doubly hard on him. God, put me back in jail. No, 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 come on, come on. Take your things. You're coming home with me. You see, Ray, we're better off. Come on, Alden! Come and give us a hand, Oliver. Your father will be home at any moment now with his criminal friend. I can't. I'm working on my Thanksgiving report. I'm handing it in a little late. <laughs> with Christmas upon us? I hope you're going to include what the pilgrims did to the Indians. Well, it says here that on Thanksgiving, the Indians and pilgrims ate together in peace and harmony. Yeah, and right after dessert, the Indians got shipped off to Oklahoma. <laughs> you think everything they teach you in school is a lie? Not everything. The math stuff's true. Well, I'm sorry, but I like the film. And so you should. They were a lovely group of people. I thought they were all convicts and deadbeats. Well, maybe so, but very sweet and very hearty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any ancestors who were pilgrims? What? <laughs> Did you have any ancestors who were pilgrims? The only person I can trace my ancestry back to is my mother. What happened to your father? That's what my mother wants to know. <laughs> We have a special guest with us for the holidays, Mr. Myron C. Dobbs. Hello. I'm a convicted felon. 
Hello, I'm Mrs. McClellan. I'm Alf. And I'm Bobby. It's uh, nice to have you here. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Did I tell you I was a convicted felon? Did I tell you I was Mrs. McClellan? Yeah. <laughs> Dad told us all about you. He made you sound absolutely incorrigible. Oh, yes, ma'am. I suppose I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, over the years, I've had quite a great deal of experience in dealing with incorrigibles. Well, let's, let's not look behind us, shall we? Let's look to the future. After all, that's why you're here and not in prison. Where I belong. Nobody belongs in prison. That's a nice tree you got there. It's warm and friendly. It says, hi, I'm a tree. Merry Christmas. By New Year's, I'll be dead. <laughs> Tomorrow, bright and early, we're going to begin chapter one in the new life of Myron C. Dobbs. How early? Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Seven. Cut you for it. Can you do card tricks? Oh, uh, <laughs> you mean, uh, can I make the uh, ace of hearts appear whenever I wanted to? Like that? <laughs> oh, wow. No, nah, I could never do that. It's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Well, um, you promised not to tell anybody? I promise. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. McClellan? Yes? Shouldn't you be getting dinner ready? No. Plenty of time, Judge. Tell us how you got started in your life of crime. Roberta? You, you really want to hear how I got started? No. Yes! <laughs> well, do you remember Al Jolson? Yeah. <laughs> I love Jolie. So did I. He was appearing at the Palace Theater in New York City. Boy, did I want to see him. Unfortunately, I was in Detroit at the time, and I needed transportation. So you stole a car. No, a bus. There was a whole bunch of us that loved Jolie. Doesn't it give you a cozy feeling to know that the thief in your house is one's friend? <laughs> Return to Mrs. Lebanski the $35 you won from her. Oh, sure, sure. I thought it was 50, but if she says 35, who am I to argue? First thing tomorrow morning, you're going to report to the King of Prussia cafeteria? and start work. Hold it right there, Judge. Uh, I've had some reservations about this arrangement of ours. Now, I've given this job thing a lot of thought, and I've developed a philosophy. Who needs it? <laughs> You're just going to let your future go right down the drain, huh? Look, what does it matter? There's only three things I ever really wanted anyway. To eat, sleep, and host The Tonight Show. <laughs> You're just going to rot in jail waiting for the Tonight Show to call. Maybe so. But I gotta take that chance. I mean, at least in jail, I'll have my freedom. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. <laughs> when will you leave? Now. And listen, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mention this to Barney until after I'm gone. She's a sweetheart, but I'm the wrong guy. Now, you know, if you get in trouble out there, you're really going to have the book thrown at you. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Judge. Myron. My overcoat. It's cold out there, Judge. Keep it. I'll send you back the lining in the spring. Where will you go? Oh, I won't be far. I'll be right there, Mrs. Lovejoy. <laughs> Oh, uh, Merry Christmas, Judge. Where'd you get this, Myron? What's the difference? It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Feel it. Hi, Dan. How you doing? How was your day? Oh, typical. Well, this is the last of Myron. Oh. Uh. He hung this ball. See what he scratched on it? Hung by Myron. <laughs> You'll never see his like again. You can see him any time you want to. Visiting hours at the county jail are two to six daily. He's back in the joint? Some jewels accidentally fell into his pocket in a jewelry store. He was framed. Not according to the burglar alarm that went off at three o'clock in the morning. Well, all I know is it's going to be awfully quiet around here without him. Hello, Judge. John Monroe. 
Remember me? Yes. Nice. You know my uh, brother-in-law, Ray? Hello, Ray. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, we understand you have a vacancy here, and we'd like to look at the room. <laughs> This is Jackie Bishop. Next week, Entertainment Tonight spotlights 60s rockers Crosby, Stills, and Nash and previews Vanessa Redgrave's latest film, The Bostonians. Then on Pia Magazine, celebrate America's favorite dessert, ice cream, in a week-long taste test for the best on the North Coast. That's all next week, beginning at 7 on TVA.